And now, your Storm Team 2 forecast with meteorologist Tara Hastings. And if you do have any plans this evening, make sure you grab the umbrella. We're going to continue to see a chance for some showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Later tonight, 62 degrees at 7 o'clock, 61 at 9 o'clock, dropping down to about 60 at 11 o'clock. I think we'll get a little bit of a break in the rain, but there's still just a slight chance for a few spotty showers during the overnight hours. Mostly cloudy skies at 8 a.m. Looks like we'll start off your Monday morning dry at 57, but then a chance for some scattered showers possible later in the afternoon. Temperatures by lunchtime around 62 is a chance for some showers in 65 at 5 o'clock. Let's show you live Doppler 2 HD, our network of radar scanning the skies, showing you that we do have some rain around most of the Miami Valley. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer where we are seeing some moderate to heavy rain at times here in Miami County between about Troy and Piqua. Notice where we have those yellows. And then farther northward here around around Sydney and Shelby County over towards Anna. Some moderate to heavy rain there. Getting a little bit of a break here in the central and southern, southern sections of Montgomery County. Also to the south here around Butler, Warren and Clinton counties. And then some light showers over towards uh, Preble County and Eaton. So a little bit of a break here, but then notice to the south of Cincinnati, another round of rain is possible. So we'll get a little bit of a break and another chance for some showers through the overnight hours. We're calling in our weather checkers, uh, giving us those rainfall reports anywhere from about a quarter of an Inch around Greenville, Eaton, uh, Troy to about a half an inch here in portions of the area around uh, Miami County, also here in Beaver Creek, Azenia, and Springfield. Officially at the airport, we're sitting at 62 degrees. See the camera bouncing around. Not only have we had to deal with the rain, but also the winds out of the east southeast at 18 miles an hour. Temperatures staying into the lower 60s, even a few upper 50s. It's 58 degrees in Bell Fountain. 60 right now in Xenia and 62 in Wilmington. Those winds will continue to be breezy tonight and through all of the day on Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning. See those wind speeds 10 to 20 miles an hour possible and they will continue to be pretty breezy all throughout the afternoon on Monday. Lots of clouds in place as we have this storm system moving through. You can see the motion of the clouds from the south to the north and that is exactly the same track that the rain is taking. And we'll show you in our future track forecast what you can expect for the rest of the night tonight starting the clock here at 8. Notice we have a chance for a few showers and then mostly cloudy skies through the overnight hours. Stopping the clock here at 1 in the morning may see a few isolated showers popping up. And then to start off your day on Monday at 8 o'clock, we'll see mostly cloudy skies get a little bit of a break in the rain before another chance for a few spotty showers will pop up around lunchtime and continue through the early afternoon and early evening. So keep the umbrella handy the next couple of days. 56 degrees tonight, cloudy skies, breezy with those spotty showers. And tomorrow we'll see highs approach 65 degrees, cloudy conditions with a few showers possible as we head into the afternoon. We do dry out, but it's still going to be pretty breezy on your Tuesday in your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. Up to about 57 degrees on Wednesday, mostly cloudy skies, a few showers possible. And look at those nighttime lows in the upper 30s and lower 40s. So it's going to be some cool starts uh, through the mid portion of the week early in the morning and will continue to be into the 50s for the afternoon. Yeah, and towards the end of the week, kind of cooler too, but at least yeah. the rain's gone. Yeah, there you go. All right, thanks.